Are you feeling a little bit down in the dumps? Like your energy could stand a little boost or maybe you're not getting the things that you want that you're seeking in life. We all have different desires. Sometimes we have desires for all love, wealth and prosperity, peace and love in our home and even clearing away negative attachments from an old relationship or an old part of our life that may be still blocking us. This is Priestess and Medium Roslyn, and I would like you to know that these are the things that I work on on a daily basis with my trained abilities to help you with root work and shamanic healing. If you're curious, you can take a look through my website and you can see all of the conjure candles, the magic and conjure oils, spiritual bath solutions, lotions, and root work soaps. Of course, there's readings available too if you need guidance, and I do custom orders daily. So, enjoy the rest of your reading. Welcome back. This is Priestess of Medium Rosal. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well, soul family. I hope that whatever it is, even if it's a crisis you're going through, that you're still willing and open and able to receive uh, the gifts that may be coming through for you. So the gifts may be coming through for you in a way that seem kind of harsh at the moment. However, there is a message uh, that's coming through definitely, okay? This is Priestess and Medium Roslyn. I'm back at it. Today is May 11th. And that does not mean that you'll hear this message on May 11th. It just means that it's timeless in one aspect. And for some of you, the May 11th date may be very profound for you. Um, I want to give this message to you, all this coming through. It's definitely to do with money and finances, but it's attached to a very deep situation. Uh, it feels like you're going through something that's life-changing, okay? That's really what it feels like. So let's get into this in the best ways. If you need to contact me, my information is below, okay? All right, let's get into this message. Allow the message just to go through the pure white light, my Father God. Highest Guild Ancestor of Benevolent White Light. Spirit Guides, Archangels, and Saints. What is the message that they should know? Because I'm hearing it. It's almost like um, there was some kind of betrayal. Let's see here. Feels like it has to do with family, but also there's been a lot of arguing. Uh, a lot of being just so loud. Something like that coming through. Um... Yeah, I almost feel like some of you, you've had readings on this before, like you might have went to someone to try and get divination on what's really happening and what this other person could really be thinking. Um, you know, it's just that kind of message, kind of deep, kind of like on a soul level. Okay, the ones that pop, this is the Eight of Cups. Someone may have turned their back and walked away from this situation. Possibly you're thinking about you know, walking away from the situation because it's so emotionally draining here. Feel like you tried to manifest and you tried to put things back in order. Like there does need to be a new beginning here somehow. Yeah, we had the emperor. There's some energy coming in of authority here. Sometimes it's going to be one of your ancestors, one of your passed on loved ones, or an angel that you're praying to, a saint that you're play, praying to, someone that has that high authority. It could also be that just someone wants to take that kind of energy in the relationship or in the situation. They might, someone might need to step in and lead. All right, we have the king of pinnacles here. That's definitely money, strength, and security, the world. There's something that needs to wrap up here. It needs to close. That's why someone either walked away or they're thinking of walking away. There's some energy here needing to close. So maybe some of the arguments and things that you experienced in the past few months, it's because a door is shutting, okay? But maybe when that door is shut, you felt confused with this two of swords, like you didn't know who to trust, like someone was being two-faced or you really couldn't make up your mind. You might have felt like something was crossed up in your energy. Yeah, the Knight of Cups here. This is an offer. So you're not fully shut out and alone. You're not in this situation. 
Yeah, I feel like there's a masculine around because I'm seeing so much masculine energy, but I can really feel the masculine energy coming forward. Possibly this masculine is trying to apologize. So it doesn't mean that it's a male. It doesn't have to be a male, but I'm feeling that masculine energy like there's an apology that's going to happen. Queen of Cups, the wheel. Okay, we have the wheel here, okay? Next to the Queen of Cups. So you may have had to uh, definitely go from your heart to try and process the changes that were coming in. So maybe you didn't feel that the changes coming in could be balanced. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the changes coming in, you should allow them to come. Um, you don't have to hide your heart. You don't have to protect your heart all the time, but you do need to develop some boundaries here in this situation. I'm seeing also there's someone around you who can help you with balance and alchemy, okay? And what do I mean by that? What I mean is that there's someone who is very healing. They have a very good energy. Um, and I'm seeing Nine of Cups here as your outcome. So this is really you getting what you wanted, you being happy in the end. And it has this, uh, the alchemy here. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be an Aquarius, someone who is intuitive, but they also have a good sense of direction to help bring in this balance and peace. This could also be you finally feeling that you have your divine energy aligned. You have your hopes and dreams aligned. You have your wishes coming true because that's the outcome I see here. On the bottom, the Two of Cups, okay? The Two of Cups. So I can't say that this is a financial read, and I think some of the things that happened, it created a burden for you for a while. I think the past few months, they've been rocky, but someone came through with an offer for you. That could literally be a job offer they came through, or it could be someone in your family that has actually been awakened and decided to help you and offer you a soft space to land. This could also be a new relationship, okay? But the two of you are working this out, okay? Two of Cups is on the bottom here. This could be a soulmate. Yep. Here we are with the star. So it's definitely some healing taking place. So it almost feels like even though this was rocky for a while, this was a transitional period. Nine of Swords, someone wasn't sleeping. Someone not sleeping. The tower. Yeah, so what you had was a huge, uh, things got displaced, things got broken up, things got shoved around in your life, okay? The next card here, the queen, queen of pentacles. So money was definitely an issue here, but I feel like you're going to be able to recover, even if this person, this situation was like a scammer, someone who had your emotions going, Someone who tried to sneak and get away. Seven of Swords, somebody's not fully being, you know, as honest as they could have been with you. And it just, it feels like things are going to recover here. Yeah, Spirit is saying bounce back. That's the words they're giving me, bounce back. All right, let's get a few of uh, the Law of Attraction manifestation cards. What other messages are here for this person? What other messages are here? I'm also hearing some of you were like, you were really resistant going through this in the in the beginning. Like you didn't, you couldn't really just trust that it was going to fall into place and fall into alignment because everything looks so shady at one time, right? I mean, when you get down to not sleeping, not sleeping, and then you're accusing people because you feel off kilter, paranoid or whatever that could have been because you know someone is hiding something or you know you may have got taken for something. And you were just putting yourself out there to be good and balanced. Non-attachment. I am certain that I will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen. So even though it looked bad, you had to kind of let go. You had to let go and say, you know, it looks bad right now, but I, I see that it's possible if I just trust. If I just have some faith that things may work out here. You couldn't attach yourself to the way it looked at that time. What else is going on here? Ambition. I am ambitious and I do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. Wow. So 
<clears throat> for you, it seems that it was a period of changing the way that you think and believing that your thoughts turn into things. So it's a matter of planning, letting go, letting the universe lead and guide these blessings to you. Because if you're thinking and seeing it only in one way in our 3D lives, the way that we see things sometimes, will block a lot of the good things that are coming to us. No doubt. I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to doubt. Okay, I'm hearing burdens lifted. Burdens lifted. Let's see what's on the bottom. Money is positive energy and it allows me to be generous to others. Generosity. Having enough faith to still keep giving and to still be generous from your heart. It's having faith and it's believing that you're not left alone here. Faith. I have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. Faith. Okay, that is your message. And hopefully that did touch on the right chords for you. You know, if it did, you can comment below. And I'll see you back here again soon, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.